Welcome to Stone Watch. This is my review for the movie Plane. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, I finally got a chance to check out the movie Plane starring Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter over on Amazon Prime. And I gotta say, this movie was actually pretty damn good. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is like the best movie I ever saw, but it was actually pretty enjoyable. It had some really good action moments. It had some, I mean, there were some uh, scenes that came out of there where it was actually, um, I don't know how to describe it to where like it, it took you by surprise you know what i'm saying almost kind of like jump the scares like type thing i thought that was pretty damn good now i'm not really all that familiar with the director roche's previous work to be quite honest with you but i thought he did a pretty damn good job in this movie i mean i liked it and i think he's also attached to the sequel that's probably going to get spun off from this also but I'll get to more of that in a minute but however i think he did a pretty damn good job in this movie even though i'm not really familiar with what he's done before but i liked it i mean i remember when this movie was being advertised and i even did a reaction to the trailer and i was meant to go see this in the theater but i don't know why i just at the time when this thing did come out i i just didn't and i meant to but i go well i'll just catch it when it comes out on bod when it's available for rent then when i noticed friday that it was available on amazon prime for rental i'm like nope oh, that's what i'm doing this weekend i'm gonna check that movie out and sure enough i had a good time i mean 15 or two i waited for it to be out on home streaming i didn't get to see it in a theater it's not because i think this movie was bad and would have it been better to see on the big screen maybe i mean there was some scenes in here that would have been really cool to see on the big screen but for the most part i was just happy enough just to see it at home to be quite honest with you i mean i think gerard butler was pretty great in this movie i thought he was pretty good now i thought for sure he was going to be the ex special forces dude in the movie you know what i'm saying because there's always that that one guy especially when he has something to do with like a plane crash survivor story there's always that one guy who's like a, you know he's like the badass in the movie you know what I'm saying? So but he did have ex-military training, but he was a pilot from the military. Now, Mike Coulter was that, you know, that ex-Special Forces badass, but he was like in the Foreign Legion or something like that because he was trying to avoid something he did with the law and he finally caught up to him and what have you. And that's why he was the one who was the prisoner that got on the plane on New Year's Eve that's going into the storm. I mean, this thing had everything, almost everything that you could possibly have going at it that's bad before they actually get off the ground. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just... they all the bad juju that was going on this flight was pretty much at the very beginning which was actually pretty good because it sets up the movie it tells you that this, is, this is the situation that we've got going on and you know what's pretty much what's going to happen from there you know what i mean plane is a 2023 american action thriller film directed by jean francois riche with the screenplay by charles cumming and jp davis the plot centers on a pilot allying with a prisoner to save his passengers from a hostile territory they landed in for an emergency landing the film was originally announced to be in development with Mad River Pictures in 2016. In November 2019, Lion Gates Film acquired the distribution rights to the movie. But in November of 2020, it abandoned the project after failing to obtain the production insurance that would cover a COVID-19 outbreak, as the studio did not want to risk the film's original $50 million budget. And then Soltis Studios acquired the rights to the film. However, in May of 2021, Lionsgate re-required the rights to the airplane in what Andreas Weissman from Deadline Hollywood described as a high case profile of Hollywood volleyball. Principal photography took place in Puerto Rico in August through October of 2021. In February 2023, it was announced that Coulter would reprise his role as Louis Gispar for a sequel titled Ship. John Francois Roger returns as the executive producer with Mad River Pictures. Along with De Bonaventura Pictures and G Base Productions also reteaming. While Gerard Butler will not star, he may make a cameo appearance. Plane was released in the United States on January 13th of 2023 and received general favorable reviews from the critics and fans. Starring in this movie, Gerard Butler, Mike Coulter, Yu Sun N, and Tony Golan, just to name a few. Currently, Plane is sitting with a Rotten Tomato score of 77% with 162 top critics reporting in. So a little over three quarters of those top critics are liking this movie. Now the general consensus of those top critics is this. They're saying plain charts a standard action adventure course with its cruising altitude just a few miles above direct video. But with Gerard Butler in the cockpit, thriller enthusiasts will still find this a fun flight. I have to agree. This thing was like pretty much like a generic like type story setting. But the twist on it was kind of 
different to me because again I thought Gerard Butler was going to be the special forces dude he wasn't that was Mike Coulter's job now I also want to say that Tony Goldwyn was so badass in this movie he was great he wasn't in this movie a lot, a lot because he was pretty much like the emergency uh, director dude in the background it's kind of like getting the special forces do come in and save him which I thought that was kind of like whoa did they actually really do that because I've never flown overseas like that before and just seeing stuff like this it scares the you know what out of me you know what I mean but however I thought his, his some of his lines that he was delivering especially to when he when he was given like the guy that was the one who sent the plane into the storm just to save money and time kept on giving him flack throughout the movie I thought that was brilliant I loved it that was pretty much a couple of my favorite parts of this movie to be quite honest with you now over on the audience side it's hit with a score of 94 percent with a thousand plus fans telling you what they think so majority of the fans are actually liking this movie whether or not they actually saw it in the theaters or not that's that's a whole nother debate because this movie did not kill it at the box office unfortunately with a budget of 25 million dollars its total worldwide box office is only 52.5 million dollars so most of the time i would say this movie is most likely not getting a sequel but however in the description of this movie when i was doing research for this video it says that there's like a spin-off with mike coulter in the movie called ship really brilliant name i mean we got plane ship the third movie of this trilogy is gonna be called car and then like the fourth movie would be called truck i can't help myself that movie is supposed to tie into this somehow and then gerard butler will like won't be like staring in it but he might actually make a make a cameo appearance in it why i mean but i don't know i guess maybe i mean because like and it this movie does set that up there's like at that one point when i i saw that getting ready to watch this movie and while i was watching this movie the part came up to where it was kind of setting that up to where like i'm like oh that must be the setup for the sequel right there i mean it was like plain as day that 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 was like the setup for the sequel but whatever i mean whether or not that movie actually happens or not it's really hard to say i mean mike coulter did a pretty damn good job in this movie now i liked him as luke cage even though i did not watch any of either season of Luke Cage that was on Netflix but I loved him in Defenders I thought he was really good in that series so overall even though this was not like a totally original story I had a lot of fun watching this movie I'm kind of glad I didn't really pay for it in the theater to be quite honest with you but however this was well worth the watch so if you already had well if you have a chance to actually rent this movie I highly recommend this movie was actually pretty good but that's totally up to you so did you get a chance to check out the movie Plain Star and Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter let me know in the comments down below what do you think did you see this movie let me know in the comments down below i mean i know this thing is not like a totally original story but it was fun i mean what for what it was it was actually a pretty damn good movie you know what i'm saying so let me think in the comments down below